Good morning, YouTube. It's Nick here. Hope everyone's having a great day today. Um, today's Wednesday. It's hump day. Uh, getting through the week. I've been having a pretty good week, staying busy. Um, it's good, man. Life, life is good. I, uh, I wanted to come on and talk about a couple things today. So I had a comment in one of my past videos from RJ404. Um, that, that subscriber has been with me since I pretty much started my channel a couple years ago. And I used to make previous videos um, of showing me detoxing and uh, relapsing and getting a couple weeks clean and relapsing. And um, I just went through like a, like a year span of just trying to still do videos and showing my recovery and trying to get sober and um, it was rough man I did not I wasn't doing too well at times and other times I was doing great um, so she had a couple questions for me um, and I'm gonna read them off right now so she or he put he or she honestly uh, not sure but let's see periods feeling very close to relapsing or does it, okay, do you ever have periods um, feeling like you're very close to relapsing or does it feel a part of your past? So, <clears throat> that's, a very, that's a very good question. Do I ever have periods where I feel very close to relapsing? I wouldn't say I feel very close to relapsing. It's more of a thought will come across my mind or if I'm in a really stressful situation I'd be like man it'd be really nice to get to get high right now or man that would just take that off um, take the edge off but then I usually talk to whoever my friends uh, peers my sponsor whatever and and I talk about the situation that's on that that's troubling me whether or not it's business wise uh, financial um, situation, relationships, whatever, I talk to someone about it and I get their opinion and I get it off my chest. A problem shared is a problem cut in half. That's, that's what they say. Might sound corny, but it's really true for me. Um, and you know, my addiction, it kind of does feel a little part of my past. Like it's weird thinking about the stuff that I used to do, but at the same time, I'm always uh, trying to do videos and trying to keep remembering it um, and not, you know, forgetting where, where I came from. Now, next question. In my past videos, what is different now compared to back then? And what, what, what is big is back then when I used to make my old videos, I didn't work a recovery program. I thought I could do it myself. So I didn't, I, right now I do, um, I do meetings. Um, I'm not going to say, you know, what type of meeting I go to, but, um, I do meetings and I do 12 step work. Uh, let's see in the past videos, what is different now than then? So right now I work a program. Um, I completely changed almost everybody that I hang out with. Um, my job, I don't work in restaurants or anything anymore. Um, I pretty much just had that complete life change. Back then I would still smoke weed and drink. I can't, I can't do that. I learned my lesson. Okay. Some people can smoke weed and, uh, stay sober. Maybe some people can drink and, you know, not shoot heroin or whatever. And that is completely up to them. You know what I mean? It's, it's cool. Whatever you want to do, you know what I mean? But for me, I go a hundred percent. Like there is no, I don't drink to just have a beer or two. I drink to get drunk. Like what, what, what who drinks to just have like the taste of it? You know what I mean? That that's my thought process. So I, I don't do anything. I mean, I drink coffee here and there. I'll have a coffee at the meeting in the morning. Uh, maybe one in the afternoon But that's that's pretty much it. You know, I don't put any chemical substances really into my body um, Because I just go to the extreme and that's just how I've always been whether when it's working out um, 
whatever. Like, I just focus really hard on that and I just go after it. Um, so yeah, that that's pretty much my past, uh, between my past and now, work in recovery, changing the, uh, everyone, that old life. And really just having um, a spiritual and physical, emotional, like awakening, you know? So that's pretty much it for RJ404's questions. Um, I heard something today is, you know, that desperation you have when you're trying to get sober and you're getting clean and relapsing and feeling like there's no hope. Don't lose that desperation. Don't forget about how hard it was when you were out there sick and suffering and had no money and no one cared and it was just a constant vicious cycle. Um, you know, don't forget about that because that once you start forgetting about where you came from and that desperation and you think you have it beat and that you can control this, you know, you, you can go right back to it and lose everything. And I don't, I don't want to do that. And, um, that's pretty much it for the video. I love you guys. God bless. Stay humble, stay grateful and, uh, positive vibes guys. I love you all. Peace.